So we're going to start today with a cheese review. I use the review, it sounds kind of serious, it's more it's just me eating a piece of cheese and enjoying it, you know, what's, <laughs> what can you say? Um, I was very lucky to meet uh, Catherine from Illy Imports uh, Limited, who are based in the UK. Now if you've ever eaten Cambazola or Montanolo uh, and got it, it will have come and been imported from Elite Imports. Uh, they're a great host for all of the cheeses made by the Cajerai uh, Champignon Company who are based in Germany. They've got some new products hopefully launching next year which um, if you've seen the, the Rougette bonfires, um, you've, again I've on the blog, uh, cheesy1.blog, I actually posted an update on that a few weeks ago, so feel free to go and check that out. Uh, but she was very kind enough to bring me um, some Grand Noir, which I have posted a blog uh, post before. I've uh, never been able to get hold of it. It's tricky because I wasn't in the market and, and, and buying cheese for counters at that stage. But she remembered this and she actually bought me a piece of this cheese in to try. And um, very lucky that's actually what I've got sat in front of me right now. Uh, and it's an award winning cheese. As you can see this is the pamphlet that she has given me as well. So it kind of gives you a bit more of a rundown. As you can see it's got the all the awards on there so you've got the international cheese awards you've got world cheese awards i've tried this cheese before now and it is a delicious cheese but i thought as it looks lovely it's a good piece of cheese i thought this was better than to be the first cheese to put out on my video so i will hold it up to you so you can have a look um so here's the cheese it comes wax wrapped so what you can see, you can should hopefully see it glistening in the, the lights. Unfortunately, I do not have a YouTube studio yet, so my kitchen is going to have to do. Um, unfortunately, lighting hopefully is okay for you guys, but if you've got any pointers, please feel free to leave them uh, in the comments box below because, you know, uh, it's cheese and I like talking about it, but any pointers you've got on what you'd like to see, then please go for it. Normally it comes with a label on this bit here, but for the purposes of making it a little bit easier for the video, I've taken that off. But if I hold it up to the camera, hopefully you should be able to see there's holes in the wax. And what they do is they pierce the cheese, uh, and you can see that there's some lines in there. So that's where the piercing happens. They'll pierce it, now it will be stainless steel, I would imagine but it's enough just to get the air in and then it starts bluing inside now when you make a blue cheese it doesn't go blue straight away you have to lock it in normally that's why you've got your rind you've got your wax and uh, you have to pierce it to then let the air flow into the cheese and then it starts bluing and so you have to mature it a bit first uh, just to go a little bit firmer because when it's curds and whey you just pressed it, it's not quite ready yet but at the stage of you making curds and whey in the vats that's when they add the mould culture that's inside the cheese but not gone blue yet. It looks blue and it's very dark bluish green. You pour it in, you spread it out evenly and then once you pierce the cheese it reacts with the air and then you start getting the mould through the cheese. So going back to it, they've tried to make this one stand out a little bit more, so hence why it's in wax wrapping, and it's black wax. Now, they were uh, black waxing this cheese um, before, but if you have any inkling or association with cheese at all, and you think of a black wax cheese, you're probably going to think of Snowdonia's Black Bomber. Uh, that is just one of those things where they've become so popular that it's now synonymous. So if you see a black wax wrapped cheese, people automatically assume it's Black Bomber. That's not the case. This is not Black Bomber. You can take the wax off while serving. I've left it on, obviously, for the purpose of the video. I'll take it off in just a moment so we can see all the way around the cheese. 
but it's quite a thin wax on this cheese which is quite nice because from a customer's point of view having a very thick wax on the outside um, can be seen as a, a little daunting in terms of price um, they think that obviously you the wax is in, uh, you're paying for the wax and it increases the weight that's true to a certain extent but obviously you take into account the wax and the weight and so really they're not paying for it at all so let's take this wax off so you can actually see what's going on okay so as you can see now inside of the wax you can see that there are lumps and bumps uh, I don't quite know, you can just see ridges there and that's where the piercing has taken place, it's gone in and it's just pushed the wax in and get rid of that okay so with the cheese now you can see that it's slightly blue underneath the wax it's quite soft it's um, obviously a little bit sticky but uh, probably due to temperature and obviously it uh, warming up so what is interesting when you take it off you can actually see the mold started on each of the little piercing holes there and you can see those sort of here they're breaks in the curd so when you've got curd some way and you stack it all up um, obviously it's not been pressed that much so you can see that's that's natural breaks in the cut. So what does it look like? Well, it's a little bit paler than a Montanolo. It doesn't look as rich, um, but I can tell you it's very smooth indeed. It's more in the terms of colour of Camazola, but this is their aged cheese. So it's stronger than Camazola. Camazola rates is about a mild uh, blue cheese. Montanolio about a medium and this one is their age so I would say it's the strongest one but think along the lines of the mildest Gorgonzola you could think of that sort of the lines I'm going on here so the next stage to do is obviously to try a bit which is the funnest part now I'm sorry I can't actually give you a piece but uh, you'll just have to imagine it and I'll do my best to describe it as best as I can trusty cheese knife this cheese knife uh, goes all around the country with me uh, not on holidays but just to cheese shows and awards and if I'm using it it's, it's a nice cheese knife to use so I've taken off quite a considerable piece why not, what time is it? Well, it's 11 o'clock, we can have cheese and uh, so I've got a piece here. Now, when you go to a, a, a cheese awards and you're judging, you might, if it's not up to temperature, move it around in your hand a bit. To be honest, it doesn't look very pretty. I'm not going to do that with it. I have had this cheese out to make sure that it's warm enough for me to use for the video, so it should taste just right. Now, I can, I'm salivating already. Let's go for it. So what flavours have I got there? I've got creamy. I've got a bit buttery in terms of texture. I've got the the kick of the blue, but it's nothing too strong. It's it's a very nice tang. It's even from start to finish. It is slightly milky. I would say the mouthfeel is very full. It has. It is like you've just put like a teaspoon of cream in your mouth, which who doesn't like that? And so I think that actually that's a very very pleasant blue cheese. You could have that if you were not so much of a Stilton lover or a really sort of hard strong tangy blue. It'd be accessible for all. Now I would imagine this quite nicely on a cheese board what would be really nice is a glass of fizz uh, and the glass of fizz when you have fizzy uh, alcohol what it does it aerates 
the cream and the fat in the mouth so you'll get a, a smoother mouth feel but it will intensify the flavour delicious I would say that actually in terms of other blue cheeses it's not similar to others I can think of I mean Santa Gur is probably the most comparable to look but that's much stronger than this cheese um, I would actually say that I find this one more pleasant the cheese itself um, unfortunately I don't have any price point really for it um, because it was uh, given to me and it's not as readily available in this country as Cambozola and Montanolo I don't want to um, give you prices or places to go to because it really isn't that easy to get hold of having said that if somebody's watching this and sells it or um, knows of where to get it comment and and let us know and I can put a little update in the description now actually again I think that the whole cheese itself you can kind of see there the, the, the creaminess of the edge it's kind of ruffled up so it is that sort of gives you some sort of feeling of how smooth it is and um, I'll see if this works but if I like can you see it sort of ruffles up so it sort of gives you that kind of smoothness to it and you can see it's actually coating the knife uh, in the, the fat and uh, content for the cheese and we would use that test when we were testing a cheese or judging one or grading it with our cheese iron and that coats the back of the the cheese iron with a, a fat content so you kind of can tell how uh, how much fat's going to be in the cheese and whether that's something a desirable quality or not it depends on the cheese now it's sat in front of me still and it smells really good so if you don't mind I'm going to have another piece I think the description of a very mild gorgonzola probably fits it quite well. It's like the start run of the stronger blue cheeses. Now it's aged for the cheese maker, uh, but certainly it's not by any means strong. I can see why now that this uh, was awarded Reserve Supreme Champion in 2016. It's a delicious piece of cheese it has lots of character to it is easily eatable and you could enjoy it alongside anything from uh, the cheese board with the glass of fears or a nice I would say you could use a nice sort of red on that as well also for cooking it would be uh, delicious perhaps within flat mushrooms it really seems like quite a versatile child cheese. Now, I love soft cheeses like this, and I make something that normally I call um, dolce lasagna, where I put layers of uh, dolce lata in between my uh, layers of lasagna. And so, little cubes, and then what that does is when you cook it in the oven, it then creates this blue white cheese sauce. and that's delicious if you love if you love cheese and you love blue cheese try that top it with your parmigiano reggiano and that gives you a nice crust on top so with the crust on top and then the layers of blue cheese it's uh, a really nice delicious cheesy meal so where would i rate this um now i'm thinking that for ease of everyone to kind of understand how good it is and how bad it is it's very difficult for somebody to sit in front of a camera and go yeah it's really nice I enjoy it so I'm thinking that we should start some sort of rating system uh, so uh, think of it like a cheesy one um, now for me personally this is on the higher end it would certainly be for me about an 8 uh, the reason why I give it uh, an 8 on the scale so we do from 1 to 10 1 being the, the lowest I do really enjoy it at all or it's not a very good piece all the way up to 10 being this is the best cheese I've ever eaten 
The reason why I've given it a, a, an 8 is because it is on the milder side. I prefer maybe a bit stronger, but certainly for easy eating, for the look of it, the presentation, the way it comes across on mouthfeel and texture, I think it's certainly an 8. Um, and really for our first cheese review, that's kind of the end. Um, love doing this. I'm hoping that this continues on further. If there are any cheeses you'd like to see me feature, just let me know and I can have a look and, and feature that in a video. Also, if you're out there and you'd like to see a cheese feature, please get in contact. My email address or is on my website, is also in the description. So please have a look. Well, I hope that you've all enjoyed this and uh, we can create a bit more of a following for the cheesy one. And simply I'm going to end with another bit of cheese. Goodbye. <laughs>